Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're going to be playing some Jaguar games. <laughs> I wore this t-shirt. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, it's probably yeah. a panther, but mm, uh, close I don't enough. Know. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing with the cables He's there? He's chewing the cables. He Come here. You better not. Do you have all you met our latest edition. Oh, oh, I caught him. Ha. Our uh, Jaguar? Our little Jaguar today. Oh, hi. Oh, you're smelly. Why are you smelly? Are you a stinky butt? I don't know. Oh, oh, he's a stinky butt. Get that cat out of here. Oh, he's stinky. <laughs> this is this is our little sprite. I'm going to see what's going on with him right now. Ah, stinky. Today we're going to be playing Rebooted for the Jaguar. Um, which contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on it. Mini games. Uh, maybe even more. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. I don't have a Jaguar um, sign up here, but we've got some Atari Homebrew Awards. There we go. Sprite the Kitten introduces Jaguar Homebrew Day. Yep. So the games included on that are Bebris special edition, Downfall OG+, Plus, HMS Raptor Oxygenated, Kobayashi Maru Redux, Rocketeer Rebooted, Express Ray Re-Expressed, Rocks Off Again, and more. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun going through those Jaguar games. And I thought, okay, well, why not? Because we got this game actually last year during the Atari Age Day 2021 but i didn't have a jaguar back then so we couldn't play it we had to play footage from it but now i do have a jaguar and we can play it yay was he stinky i, I don't know i don't know <laughs> i heard some I don't water know if going it's just yeah no i was just making sure he was okay but you can come up here <laughs> come uh, here kitty he was something was stinky uh, i don't know he just maybe it's just his, his very stinky kitten food oh it could uh. be yeah coming out the other end yeah <laughs> <laughs> Blech, stinky cat. Yeah. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, of which there are more than ever. Is he stinky anymore? No. Oh, I'll show him off on the on the screen now. Here's this is Sprite. We can go to the cat cam. Yeah. You want to show him up on the well, cat cam? Well, it's it's hard to show him on the cat cam, but. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. here's the cat. There he is. <laughs> Struggling. Yeah, he doesn't go, like that. You go on there. There, there we go. go. Good kitty. You'll see lots of them. Yeah, things. he's a very cute cat. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. 8 bits for me on the Ferrar, come H7, Armscar, Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari HBR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Kefferman, 2D, Chance, Donnell, Donnie Mao, Chancel, Donnie Mao, I don't know. <laughs> Charles and Chuck, Charles Wu and Chai 5, DNO, Dan, ABC, Drex, and Dr. Moo, Kels, Emmy, Dan, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Roger, Rapper, Joni, WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kevin Buffalo, Kevin Kelly, Lauren TD, Zed, Marco, Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, 1969, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarner, Wood, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan, Storm, Neo, Media, Packer, VG, Kohog, R. Sanchez, RC70, Render Ghost, Penis, VG, Gore, Ricardo, Pem, Six Sweets, Sledgehammered, Smitty B, Spartan, 581, Spice, Ramirez, is the D train, the Welsh, 89, Tiki, Dan K, T list amongst those elites you can subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. and get your name on there as well new kitten antics yes you are listening there twice in a row i don't know it exported you twice <laughs> you're double, just that good RC double, double the subscriptions you're just that good mm -hmm. um so some news let's go to the news um so pac-man plus posted this yesterday uh, so I decided to share this a while back, not after I originally finished. I'd made a version of this game that doesn't scroll. He's talking about the Pac-Man uh, 40th Anniversary Collection. Mm -hmm. uh, now, to do this, I had to shorten the rows from 30 to 24. I had to remove them in three-row intervals so as not to disrupt the auto maze generator. Mm -hmm. This means I had to shorten every maze and still ended up needing to make changes to the random maze generator anyway. Now, I wasn't going to share this originally, as I know people are sick of Pac-Man hacks and homebrews, <laughs> but I think I'd, I'd rather people have this in case they like the option. Attached here, S for short mazes. So on his mm. full game that he's released, because he wanted it pixel perfect, and Pac-Man games in the arcade are taller mm. than they are wide. So he had them scroll, so it's exactly pixel for pixel perfect recreations on the okay. 7800. Nice. But these fit on one screen, so there's no scrolling. You get to see all the ghosts all at once. Mm -hmm. um, some people actually might even prefer that. Yeah, and, yeah, And you don't even sure. miss the height or the scrolling. It plays 
perfectly good. So That's very I'm cool. hoping this will somehow will be, be included yeah. on the cartridge that's uh -huh. coming out. Okay, cool. I don't know if it is because he hasn't said it. Nobody's asked and he hasn't volunteered that information. Mm -hmm. But the collection is coming out on cartridge mm -hmm. soonish this year, later this year. Um, but it is there for downloading if it's not uh, included on it. Um, so that, that's the end of the news. So today we're going to be playing uh, Rebooted on an actual Jaguar. So let's open it up. Uh, this uh, was um, sent out to people in 2021. It went on for pre-order in 2020. Um, and it has a bunch of stuff in it, including the cartridge. Very nice. It has a bunch of oh, postcards. postcards. So I'm going to nice. go to the cat cam and show those off. Very nice. So we can take a look at those. Mm -hmm. Like hold on to the manual. We'll need that. Set through it. <laughs> so here. Oh, there it is. Welcome to Sky Valley. Uh, from the game Rocketeer Rebooted. Oh, you're late. Uh, part of the Rebooted Game Collection. Welcome to Spaceport. So these are all themed with the games. From the Rocketeer Rebooted. Welcome to Crushed Ice. From Rocketeer Rebooted. Welcome to Ice Outpost. Maybe they're all Rocketeer Rebooted ones. There you go. Welcome to Asteroid. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Welcome. cat drama. Oh, there is more hissing. What's going on over there? Welcome to the jungle and welcome to Asteroid. And welcome to Ice Outpost. I think that's the last one. Very, very nice. Uh, artwork by Alexander grade. I think they're all the same artist. Yes. So they look really good. Missed opportunity. Should have renamed the Atari cam. Renamed the Atari cam instead of two Atari sprite cam. The way I read it is Atari, Atari sprite. sprite. <laughs> Atari sprites. Atari has sprites yeah. of sorts. Um, yeah, I just sprite went sprite cam. and Atari cam. Uh, should rename Atari 2 Atari instead sprite to cam? Atari sprite cam. Yeah, that, that That's works. That's cute, too. And it's shorter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. So, the this was first posted about, this collection was first posted about in 2018. It's six megabytes. You can buy it in the Atari Age store. Nice. But it's a collection of games that have been released previously in various forms or for free. And a lot of them have been updated. Um, so... Albert posted 2018. Rebooted is a new compilation of seven Atari Jaguar games released by Reboot, which is a company that uh, release a collection of developers um, that put together uh, Atari Jaguar games uh, over the last decade, all of which have been given an update with new graphics, music, and other additions such as Pro Controller support. We have some Pro Controllers on the way, but we don't have them. Uh, and cartridge saves. Some of these titles have never had a physical release, while others were only available on Jaguar CD, or in extremely limited runs due to production costs. Featuring 16 plus megabytes spanning 10 years of reboot homebrew titles on a single mm. 6 megabyte cartridge. Nice. You might be hearing the little sprite guy I know, mewing he's, off in the there's distance. There's like little kitten drama happening out there right now. So. Uh, the cartridge also contains Reboot's Jagtopia system for booting unencrypted CD titles and BJL Homebrew Loader, loader from 42-bit Bastion Schick, allowing code uploaded with a cable. So you get a little bit of bonuses there. Mm -hmm. um, so the first game we're going to be playing is Bibris Special Edition. Nice. Um, let me just look this up. So the code is by L. Stavely, music by Floyd, artwork by Sonic. And just this late last year to this year, they've been doing high score competitions mm -hmm. in the Jaguar section of the Atari Age forums. So I've got some high, high score scores. numbers. Yeah. I'm sure we won't beat them because we'll just be playing each one just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll be concentrating on it. Any particular getting, getting, one. Getting uh, high scores? No. But maybe we'll come back to them. Yeah. So let's boot up the Jaguar <laughs> and get this going. Take out my multi cart. Ooh, multi cart. Mm -hmm. That is not a cheap one. <laughs> but you need it. Play those <laughs> games, the homebrews that are in production. Thank you. Know. Roar! We're not hearing it. 
Oh, nobody's here because I've muted. That's there we go. Everybody knows the Jaguar growl, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so we can hear it. Okay. Press the... Oh, there we go. Tar age. Very nice. Now the Jaguar can do very high resolution graphics. Very high resolution. <laughs> well, compared to what I'm used to, yes. Yeah. So thank you for purchasing the rebooted collection and continuing the support of homebrew scene and the Atari Jaguar. The game featured in this multi-pack have all been given an update. I already said that. So Bieber Special Edition. So go over to that one. Which one? Bieber Special Edition. That one? Uh, there? That center, one. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I believe it's center. Excellent. Um, so there's a bunch of different, so load it up, there's a bunch of different modes. Default mode, uh, Bieber's Plus, Arcade mode. Oh, there's the, oh man. No, he's not. He's he's actually not oh, playing okay. with the cord. He's playing with the... Uh, arcade yeah. mode, which has m modes in behind it. Arcade Plus. Mm -hmm. And this has support for web scores as well. So when we get a high score, I can type it in. Mm, good stuff. Um... Select game mode one, two, three, four on the number pad. Select starting level six or nine in the number pad. Okay, so press a button. Let's get past the screen. Select game mode one, two, three, four. So it doesn't explicitly say. So try the one, two, three, four. One. Yeah. Two. Beavers plus. Arcade. Arcade plus. Okay. So we'll probably just try Beavers first. Okay. And then select level. Six two nine or what's up, up with down. the odd vertical oh, striping I see in the signal? Do you have a filter enabled? It says yeah, I have scan lines enabled. Yeah, to because uh, I think Mimic it looked the pretty cool. CRT, yeah. yeah. I was wondering the same. But yeah, there's. I, but the, they're talking about vertical striping. But they, uh, the vertical striping is lining up with the blocks on there, so. I think that's what you might be seeing. Yeah. Oh, up and down there. Interesting thought. Would you would you spend good money on a multi card? Encourage developers to make Jaguar games and have them profiled on your show. And have what? <laughs> Interesting thought. Well, I bought it so I can play homebrew games that are being developed. Yes. Right. And sometimes they post them. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. But I can also get them from the developers. Yeah in progress even if they aren't mm -hmm. um finish them okay so start uh, b to play level one beepers yes and i'm pretty sure i know what this oh. <laughs> is a uh a tribute to so game controls d-pad left move left move right quick drop is down and rotate is b or c yep Pretty don't know much this game at all yeah <laughs> I never like the scan lines. Might be a way the compression is doing on my laptop. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to do things a little differently. Let me see if I can mess with some stuff here. Because there is... Oh, yeah, I can change the look of it, the way it's filtered, uh, scales. That's probably the best. That's slightly different. I love the music in Bieberus. Of all the Jag homebrews and even the commercial library, I think it's one of the greatest tunes. P. Floyd Guy 2 says. Mm -hmm. It's good music. It's got like a demo like thing going across the screen at the bottom. What does it say? Tribute. Mm -hmm. Tribute to what did they describe this game as? A pent, is it pent, uh, pent to something? Pent to, because it's got five, up to five blocks. Or what did they describe it as? Well, let's go back to my notes. Uh, the original Bieberus was released in 1991 on the Atari ST as part of the mini demo called mini demo called Apathetic Games, released by the Law of the Bad Brew Crew. Our tribute version was done in roughly a week to celebrate not only Bieberus turning 18 years of age, but also Tetris celebrating his 25th anniversary. We have, en we have enhanced the graphics in the game and are now using the introduction music during gameplay 
as was always intended by the original musician Floyd. Also, for everyone's additional enjoyment and continuing fun, we have added a web-based high score system, which you can access from the links below. This is from 2009, the original Beavers. And then in 2010, Beaver Special Edition, Cyrano J. We're considering a release of the special edition of Beaver's Tribute on JAG CD. This pack, would this pack would ship in a DVD case with glossy insert and two CDs. CD1 would contain Beaver's in JAG CD format ready to play. CD2 would be um, Beaver's in a bunch of different formats. Um, source code for Jaguars, source code for Atari ST. Okay, so I think you should quit and look yeah, at... Yeah, this is a very boring version. <laughs> The very standard it's version. It's a standard version of Tetris. So, so uh, reset with the star and. Oh, that's where pound. it is. I was going to go back. I'm like, how do I reset? And there you go. Oh, we don't need that web code. Okay, so go to a different code, different mode. Uh, Try. Four. Arcade Plus? Sure, let's go all the way to Arcade Plus. And then uh, let's go level five. Oh, yeah, we, oh let's try 48K that. RAM, we are playing Rebooted, which is a compilation of mini games for the Jaguar. Oh, somebody raid? Oh, that's what that noise was. It, you heard a noise? <laughs> I didn't hear it at all. Ah, uh, welcome 48K RAM peoples. Thank you for bringing them over. Yes. Yeah, they raided with 12, 12 oh, awesome. viewers. <laughs> okay, so let me read what the arcade plus is this is a weird uh... there are four level types the game will cycle through after every 10 lines are completed what is going on normal complete 10 lines to advance to the next stage are you seeing this <laughs> advanced occasionally the well of blocks will move up the screen one level with a random line inserted at the bottom random a game will periodically insert a new block into the well at random pre-built the well will contain a pre-selected pattern of blocks um oh and this, what you're seeing, is additional shapes that are more tricky to place. Uh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> including, a, including a single block shape, which is a bomb. The block will complete any line given its fall. it falls on. So if you get a bomb, it'll destroy okay. that line. Regardless of whether the line is complete or not. So if you have a, uh, a difficult... Spot? Well, it says line. I'm guessing it's um, row, oh not column. Oh, boy. Yeah, That's some, some rough ones this is, there. This is a challenge. It's always nice when developers take a game, <laughs> like a really popular game or a game yeah. that's known, and then they change it up like this and add additional mm. levels to it because it keeps it keeps it fresh. Keeps it interesting. Oh, I should have done that. Uh, mm, not paying attention to what's coming. Should have looked at your coming. next. Yep. Ugh. Oh boy. That's another rough one. Oh, you made a spot. Uh, oh, you could put that down there. You could have put it on the left down there. Oh, there you go. Yay! Rough. Um, and Arcade Plus with additional block types from the Bieber's Plus. So that's why you're getting the, the crazy block types. Oh, I love it. It's great. Throws you my, for a loop. My once brain's in a while. just like, what is that? Because you're used to placing Things the normal sick. Tetris blocks, right? Yeah. Those single block shapes are fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you get this. just a one, you can put it anywhere. Yep. Yeah, this is. Oh, there you got the one, so you can slot that into. Oh no. I put it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's not so good, but it's fun. So aye, aye. after every ten lines, oh, you gosh. go up a level. So how many lines uh, have you done? Well, it doesn't tell you how many lines you've done. What What are you supposed to do with that? That's ridiculous. Put it somewhere where you can fix it later, <laughs> I guess. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're gonna... This is not going so oh. hot. Yeah. Left, left. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. That, that one was good. Kind of. There you go, off the right, all the way. Oh, you could have completed the line. You could could have done it with that too. So they did, as far as I know, release this um, on CD. Oh, no, they did. I went up a level. <laughs> oh my god, it clears it. Yeah, they got. Oh my god, that's lucky. Oh my goodness. Uh, they released this originally on CD in March 2010. Cat, what are you doing? Nope. 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 Don't 
want him I'll put this over here so he's not confusing the two the cable i don't want that ca cat being a cable cat too uh, uh, i don't know what to do oh no this is terrible there's a big hole that's oh this is blocked terrible. now in the middle oh my god not good <laughs> Wow. I like this, though. So it's mostly normal blocks? No. No, it's just all oh, over the place. Oh, no, it's all over the place. Oh, okay. Terrible. Cuban Cubanismo says this looks challenging. This looks it pretty challenging. It is pretty fun, I have to say. Oh, what? Was that yeah. a bomb? Yeah, Oh, all bomb. single ones are a bomb. I thought they would look like a bomb or look a little different. Get it. Get it, get it. You oh, you can, can still see them on the uh, cat cam. It's pretty wide. Um, this was also included... The original Bee Burst was also included on the Jaguar collection uh, in 2013. That also included Do the Same, Di Diam Jag, uh, Atomic Reloaded, and... Uh, oh, Bee Burst. Uh, Bee Burst is a single-player puzzle game featuring several challenging <laughs> game modes. This is Tetrominoes, going, that's what it was this called. This is going very bad. Um, based on the popular Tetromino <laughs> arcade games, Bee Burst has 40 levels of difficulty, web-based score it. tables, I've lost it. and one more game addictiveness. Ugh. You need the bombs. I've lost it. You've lost it? I've no. lost the plot. No, oh, no. Just don't cover up that. Ugh. There you go. Yeah, it's a little deliberate with the uh, controls. Oh, we get too. another straight one. So lucky. Right. Has rather. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so this is a good one to include on a a multi-game cartridge. Ah, it's just so, uh, that such was unintentional. A popular and well-known uh, game. Okay, that's just. You're cool. done. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> There's our web code. I don't think we'll be submitting that score. I don't. Okay. No. So, reset. Reset. I did. No, you didn't. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can go back to the title screen. I know with um, some of these compilations... Does it say in there? They're like separate games, and yeah. once you're in them, there's no exit. Um, it doesn't say. No. And I don't think there is a way out. No. So that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. The cat is enjoying his game. Good. Down at the left, uh, or I guess upper right of the uh, cat cam there. Yeah, upper right of the cat cam. He's playing his own pinball game. He loves pinball. He loves pinball. So the next game we're going to be playing is Downfall OG+. Plus. Okay. And we have played this before. Not this game, but this style of game. Mm. Um, so the code by L. Stavely, which is Cyrano J. Music by MSGRG. Uh, artwork by NeoRG. All the features of the limited edition Downfall Plus release crammed into the original game. Um, Aguar, uh, Atari Jaguar developers Reboot of Jaguar have announced the release of Downfall, a freely available game for the Atari Jaguar game console. It's back in 2011. Mm. The game was unveiled at the AC 2011 party in France this past weekend. I love the Reboot logo. Yeah, I do it's a too. Circle. Reminds me of it like... It's really good. The Avengers or something? The Avengers logo? Mm. Very or nice. For credits. B? Uh, yes. How, how do you play this? We'll oh, you you know this game. Oh, is this is basically Mango. Mango's Down. And it actually is a Jaguar version of Mango's Down. There's the Mango. Oh, you oh, got squished. I make, uh, yeah, I guess... The object of Downfall is to guide your uh, character through the never-ending chasm of, and a series of platforms, carefully avoiding rising above or dropping below the viewable area of the screen. So, you went too far up. I know. But you can also go too far down. Very quiet. I think it I have is. to turn this one up a little bit. Plus, there's also pinball being played. Yummy. It's got some voices in this one. Just like Man Goes Down. Nice. Oh, oh missed it. Oh, missed the mango. Yourself. That text font is so reminiscent of arcade, uh, Atari Arcade uh, from the 80s. From the 90s. Oh, then the top on this one. Yes. Ah! Oh, you did save oh! yourself, but you fell off. 
Um, it was close. From the Reboot website, you might be surprised to learn that Downfall was the most requested of our games to end up in cartridge form. We certainly were, along... Uh, we're also well aware of its addictive qualities. This is why it's the first game we decided to put out on general release in cartridge form using SCP CD's amazing new Jagtopus flag uh, flash cart design. So this one was put out on cartridge at one oh, point. Oops. Uh, as a standalone game. Incorporates a backdrop that was created using the same tool used to generate the Atari Falcon version backdrops with some additional post processing. There are new sprites, on-card high score saves, website, high score code generation, <sighs> oh. new title screen, and a title music it's by close. a friend, and Atari music scene overlord 505 checkpoint. Some of this information might be old. <laughs> Sample from Taken there. Ta <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like I have a certain set of skills. That's fine. I can't remember the t Oh, you're going to miss those Jerry's. Eh, I can't get them all. Yeah, the secret is to stay Kitten. high in the stay high so that you can figure out where the fruit figure is. Figure out where the fruit is and stay in the middle, I find as well. Yeah, because then you because have then, options. Then you can go to the left or right. Oh, Mario pipes. Oh, balloons. That'll slow your descent down, which will help. Which is actually good. So that means you can stay a little bit lower on the screen. Nice. Yum yum yum. yum, yum. yum. <laughs> Almost sounds like treat time. It does. Oh, by the way, we have officially added the catnip treat. To treat time. To treat time. Yeah. So maybe after this game, we can do a treat time. Either a catnip one or regular treats. Oh, no more balloons. This is definitely one of my favorite 2600 games, Mango's Down. Sadly, it was never finished. And the developer has disappeared. It happens. And nobody's willing to usurp the developer's authority over his own game well, to finish it. Well, understandable. Which, which is understandable. Uh, because the game just kind of... Uh, no. Oh, no! Oh, gone to the right! I don't know if you can. Um, I don't know if you can fall off that edge. Anyway, that was pretty good. That was a good run. 24 Downfall 17. OG plus. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> oh, my, my hands God. are warm. Oh my god, he's slippery. He is oh slippery. My goodness. See? Harder than it looks. Saved by the mango. <laughs> it is an amazing background. I love the rotating perspective background. Yeah. Oh, the cat is tired now. Oh. Too much play time. Too much irritating his older brother. <laughs> Atari has been um, a little bit short with him today. Yeah. He's, there's been a lot more hissing. Yesterday, not so much. Today, oh. he's like a little bit fed up with, with like, eh. the kitten, the kitten drum. <laughs> and the kitten's been a bit more relaxed today, I think. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. 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 <laughs> Very much like the... Uh, parallax effect, yeah. That's parallax right. on yeah. the sides, yeah. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Oh. So what are the numbers? One's distance and one's score. Oh, no, that's no. high score. High and score on the score. left, your okay. score on the right. Miss Command, I think it's mostly finished on the 2600. It, it, it does is, have an end point, right? Uh, it just crashes. And, At a certain it point? It crashes. Mm. But it's like 99% finished as mm. far as I can tell. And it's it is a fun, addictive so game. It's so frustrating that you, you, just, you can't play it forever. It just crashes. Mm. And I did get it to the crashing point on a... A normal game without cheating. Uh, oh, oh my god! You get saved sometimes. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh. oh my god! I'm taking taking risks you here. You are taking risks. You got to be careful. You can go. Pretty you do. Far you do have a little bit of momentum. So you, it's it's. It's good and bad. It's good and bad. You can slide off of things uh, unintentionally, but it's pretty good. Is there a two-player mode? Mm -hmm. uh, that would be I fun. I didn't see one in the manual. We can check because yeah. I did plug in two controllers. I didn't see any options on the starting screen. Because some of these um, games are two players. Oof. So that was risky. That was a big long jump. What is that? A grape? Yummy yum yum. A lemon. lemon or a grape? That was a lemon. Yeah, it's a bit too pointy on the ends. Oh, rocket pack. Hey, can I get it? Okay. I flew off the screen and died. One more, then I pass it back to you. 
Cubanismo says, put down full in to test some stuff one evening. I ended up playing it for two hours straight. Yeah. Oh, this you, one? You don't, yeah. you, 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 uh, you don't notice time passing. Oh, you nope. missed it. That's okay. You, there's no jumping. It's just straight falling down. Yeah, the button doesn't do anything unless you have a jetpack. Yeah. Yeah, it's an addictive game. Good stuff. Oh, I kind of fell through one. <laughs> or around the edge of one. Oh, strawberry yummies. Oh, oh it didn't, didn't quite get it. Didn't take a good enough run at it. Because I didn't know mm. what was coming. Oh, that was risky. <laughs> risky. Yeah, life lessons. Always be careful when flying a jet pack you found in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know how powerful yeah. they are. Why is there a jet a jet pack in a cave? Why would someone need a jet pack in it's a cave? It's from the last person who used the jet pack and died. And died, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Do I did. Do you see big red splotches in the cave somewhere? Because that might tell you Probably. something about how that jet, jet pack... Oh, uh, no, 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 save oh, me. Oh, just, you're so yep. lucky. You're so lucky. If you look closely in the back background, you yeah. oh, oh, on the stream, it's much brighter. Look in the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks really good on the stream. Yeah, it's a little darker on our own screen, actually. Yeah. Balloons, <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry. You Almost have to up. put up with all the kitten drama, kitty. Kitten oh, it's drama. So oh, rough. Octopus. He has never seemed so old in my life. Oh, and I know. when we got the kitten, he's just like, oh, uh, God. Too old for this. <laughs> what is ah. this thing? What is this thing? This little thing? black fluffy thing that's running like crazy yeah, everywhere. This is my house. How dare he invade my house? Oh, he's purring, though. He's not too unhappy. Oh, you lose though. a balloon after a while. Yeah, which makes do. sense. It's not forever. Somebody got 24. Did you Ooh. get 24? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Save I me. got 24, yeah. Wow. Good yeah, it was job. a good run. That I think was, I was reading something. While my third run was a good run. It takes a little getting used to the movement. Yeah, it's very sensitive. So yeah. once you get used to it, it's good because you can run really far. Mm -hmm. what's after I'd like to see what's after pipes. I yeah. don't think I made it past. So you might get there. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, are you no okay? No guarantees. You're okay. You're a good kid. Yes. Nope. I think that is a grape. Oh, it's a lemon. It's a lemon. It's too... It's yellow. It's too ovally. No. Oh, 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 next one. Ooh, girders. Rusty girders. Wish I'd learned what. <laughs> Will I finally get something? Yay. Oh, no. Oh, now you've usurped my score. <laughs> it's now going up on both sides of the screen. Ah. Nice. Oh, this game is so much fun. Oh, I love it. I love mini games. Yeah. It doesn't take long to figure it out. <laughs> you mostly probably already know the game in another form. Uh, Cubanismo at the start of the chat said uh, the kids were wondering why they were watching TV during dinner. <gasps> ah. Ah. And he said, oh, we're, we're, we're watching Jaguar games. And they, said, <laughs> and they completely understood. Completely oh, understood. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there was no just, TV during din dinner unless it's Jaguar. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Cuban is, uh, yeah, I love the controls in all the reboot games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so good stuff. Yes. Let's move on to number three. Yes, you might have to start this one. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I've got a gray cat. Yeah, he's asleep. Oh, he's not asleep right now. He's almost asleep. So the third game is HMS Raptor Oxygenated. Mm. And I'm going to have to turn this one down. This last one. Is it loud? So it's not too bad on the stream, yeah. but it's on here, because I have I have some compression on the stream, so. yeah. but here I don't. Ms. Command notes, it's like doodle jump, but reverse. E exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You're not uh, going up, you're going down. Which one was it? <coughs> Excuse me. HMS Raptor. It's the middle, right? Yeah. Um, so you may recognize this game. Mm as a tribute to an Activision game. Mm -hmm. HMS Raptor 2019 reboot game called L, L Stavely. Oh, uh, Cyrano J. Let me go to my notes while you guys take a look at that screen. Uh, music by MSGRG. Original and arranged artwork by Mars S. Underwater based on artwork by N. Ensimus. Mm -hmm. Sky based on artwork by Pixel Boy. Um, so this was inspired by Sequest. Sequest, okay. Sorry, I've. Uh, That's fine. I'll play. I'm balancing a beer and a cat right now. So you really, all you have oh, to do is neat. rescue. 
The, the people? Yeah. Oh, you kill the... Ah. You can shoot through the people. Oh, that's good. I don't like... Um, uh, friendly, friendly fire. Friendly fire. No, no. Oh, I can it makes me feel fire. so bad. There you go. Rapid fire. Hi. I think this is one of... Oh, oh, you can't... Oh, I'm full. Oh, oh, okay. Um, we played a version of this. Yeah, um, it's for the 2600. The 2600 version, and yeah. And I got the patch on the first game That's I played. That's right. It's, uh, the patch score is so easy on the 2600. So now there's a thing up at the top. Mm. You have to watch out for that when you are getting air and dropping off your dudes. It, you just don't want it to hit you? or Yeah, because it's going across. So you yeah. want to go behind it. Mm. Oh. oh, I love the, the faces. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the commander talking. Or... Yeah, nice oh, little well, addition. Yeah, very nice. I mean, if you have the power and the resources on the console, why not spruce it up a little bit? The funny thing is, it's the same game. It's the same controls, right? Yeah. And that's what I talk about on old, about old consoles, like 8-bit consoles, where it's like, it's not about the graphics. It's about the gameplay. You're full. Oh, am I? Yeah. Uh, so if the gameplay is good, mm -hmm. you kind of forget about the graphics after a while. I kind of just... love these graphics, though. There's oh, something gorgeous. so... Uh colorful and fun about this era of graphics the, um, the height of 2d graphics yes it, i love that era yeah where the pixel art is just so it's, so well done so well done yeah and well then design well done ah, a lot of cute that's my first cute graphics oh, yep so much detail mm -hmm. ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. oh they're bombarding the screen now all over the place Coming in. Quest doesn't get this hard. Sign waves. <laughs> no. Or maybe it does. I'm just not used to it. Oh. Oh my god. Great graphics on Jaguar, yeah. Yeah. Nice subtle background. Mm hmm So you can see at the um, behind where I'm playing. Mm -hmm. And I love blue. that. I love all the beautiful background graphics. Again, in this era of 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 um, games. Yeah. What People is that? Get really creative. Um, they they create little paintings in the background. What is that Neo Geo game I play all the time that has, like, absolutely amazing um, 2D artwork um, with the tanks, and you get in, and you have the... You're, it's, like, in Vietnam. Oh, somebody can... Mm. That's, like, the, one of the best games. Oh, I think I'll drop these guys off. Oh, no, oh, no. you can't. That's you're air. Full. Yeah, you can't drop them off until you're full. Rescue, I must rescue you. Oh, oh no, you didn't away. turn around. Sometimes they do. Yeah. Metal slug. Metal slug. Yes. 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 Gorgeous yes. Gorgeous. Yes. So graphics. so much fun. I think that's like one of the. Oh. I should have shot him. Pinnacle games for. To come on, go. Oh, congratulations. This actually keeps scores on some of the games. Nice. Oh god. Z Z Z. Two Zs. Is that enter? <laughs> I think that's enter. I think that's enter. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're Z Z from now on. Yep. Oh, well. Okay. Let me read a bit about this now that you... Uh, Atari is tuckered out after keeping an eye on Sprite. He does. He has to keep an eye on Sprite. He has to know where he is at all times. Oh, he's he's he gets he gets really freaked out after a while. <laughs> so, Cyrano J posted on 2012, What is HMS Raptor? This is a simple game for one player for the Atari Jaguar games console. Where did you get the idea for from uh, for it. The game was inspired by the 2600 classic Sea Quest, a title chosen by reboot teammate Sauron as a simple game to demonstrate the use of rap of the Raptor programming library. Oh. Yeah, that's the same mistake I do. I I get too close to them and thinking I can shoot them, but they're going up and down. Uh, what is HMS Raptor? What isn't it? HMS Raptor isn't many things. It isn't pushing the Jaguar to any great lengths. It isn't the <laughs> second coming of homebrew. It isn't shovelware for sale. And it Shovel certainly isn't most uh, the best, most efficient code ever created. The game is not even a good stress test for the Raptor engine. The Jaguar is barely breaking a sweat running this software. <laughs> What this title brings to the table is a simple, fun game written in easy-to-read, fully commented source code, which clearly documents and illustrates several of the functions and procedures required to use Raptor. So it was a demonstration game for their programming platform. Mm. And that's 
that's really what you want to do for when you're showing off programming platforms. It's like, okay, this is how you use these different parts of it. Um, did the Jaguar have many 2D games or did it fall into the weird doing all 3D all the time because that's the new oh. hotness trap? It's kind of a mix because it's a system on the edge of, it's like first gen 3D. So there is some 3D games and there's a bunch of 2D games. And what are your feelings about first gen 3D games? Oh, they're trash. I hate them so much <laughs> because they don't look good. They're like terrible. Um, but it has, um, it has some very good 2D games. It has Raiden. Is it Raiden on this? Raiden? Yeah. A 2D shooter. Oh. Got a clear path. Or go to the bottom. No, it's, it's because to move away, then you can't shoot in that direction. Oh, yeah, yeah. As the game progresses, it will get faster and trickier, and your air will deplete more quickly. Click it. Oh, what? It two, went. Two, two. No, it, Did it go disappeared. Back? Oh, well, I think it's A oh, well. goes back. No, I. Oh, I hit C. Oh. Yes. Anyway, C a. is to end it for sure. A deletes. Then. Oh, you got second place. <laughs> I'm gonna try once more. So I made a bunch of mistakes. Mm. I think if the shark has captured him, he turns around. Mm. But if he hasn't caught up to him, he he doesn't. It's hard to say. Yes, because he moves a little faster when the shark's right behind him. Yeah. Because he has to keep up with the shark. Yeah. Cute little sharks. Oh, come on! No! <laughs> no! That was so pathetic. Double click to delete? Mm. Uh, I, thought I, hit, I thought I hit the button and it deleted it. Stop it. <laughs> Bad examples for other cats in this house. Yeah, yeah. You have to be, uh, you have to set an example to your younger brother now. Yep. He's like, nope. I nope. have to do no such thing. Do what I want. <laughs> do what I want. Hi. Hi, are you here to watch the game? Um, during our After Dark, uh, little, last, night. last night, little Sprite um, was got very interested with the screen. There was something very high contrast uh, yes. when we were playing, what was it, Dodge It? Dodge uh, It? Probably by then he was fine. It was Keijo, probably. Oh, no, it was Dodge It. It was Dodge It. Was it. both, actually. Because I remember it's like, oh, people were commenting on the second game oh, as I see. well. Oh, I see. He was very interested in what was going on on the screen. Yes. So I didn't like that. It was, it was very, very <laughs> It was very cute. cute. He was it kind was, of staring. He was staring straight up at the like screen. At the webcam. He looked like he was looking at the webcam. <laughs> Wait, are those game sharks? <laughs> Technically, mm -hmm. they're in a game, so they're game sharks. He's uh, showing Sprite how to get in trouble so he can do something bad while you're busy yelling at Sprite. Yep. Yeah. He's he's a pretty wily cat. He he knows how Sprite. it works. Oh, no, this one. Oh, he. Yeah. yeah. He's smarter than he lets yeah. on. Although, after I fed them, Atari was not ha he was hissing at him a lot. Well, explain the feeding, -ish, the feeding procedure here. Well, I mean, because I feed them in different rooms. Because they have to have different food. Yes. But that's not the only reason. It's because he's a chonky cat. I mean, well, yeah. He Atari. will eat all the kitten food, which is the high protein, oh, high calorie kitten food is, is not good for a chonky cat. <laughs> no. No. You would eat it all. You would just muscle your way in. And it and... isn't so much a problem with um, um, Sprite Sprite to eat Well, he's a growing, food. he's a growing cat. <laughs> it just doesn't have as much for um, him that he needs. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get down there. Oh, there's too many sharks. Oh, he won't turn around because he wasn't. <laughs> Cat that rings a bell is smarter than he lets on. Oh, we're all in trouble. He's gonna take over the world. <laughs> he Pretty is. much. Don't give him too much leeway. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give him any tools. Yeah. But it is really cute when. Um, so we we keep them separated at night also because he's so small. I'm scared he's gonna like strangle himself on a cord behind a couch or something. So. Oh come on! But when I let him out in the morning, the first thing he does is he goes and looks for Atari and rubs up against him. He's so excited oh, yeah. to see Atari. So he's pretty. He's they're both pretty good cats. The they're both happy with each other. I think. Debounce on the score is pretty brutal. I have to be very quick on the button. Yeah. Did I get first? I'm sure you did. Very good um, adaption yes. port yep. of Sequest. Yay! No, I got second. I did worse? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the third game in the compilation. Mm -hmm. 
which is Kobayashi Maru Redux. Nice. And that's a Star Trek reference. Yes. Of a training exercise that Kirk had to do, and I guess other prospective trainees in the Star Trek universe, mm -hmm. where you can't actually win. You can't successfully finish it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can I only that reference. do well in it, I guess, or poor, <laughs> but you can't fully 100% do it. Win. Yeah. And he did win, but, oh. he, but by cheating. Yeah. And so everybody's like, oh, my God, and blew their minds. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch your beer. You're going to have to put that down. Okay. <laughs> can't reach over. All right. Um, this by L. Stavely, The Code, music by MSGRG, uh, artwork completely redesigned by Ander... Whoop. What am I, what am I doing? You're shooting things and rescuing people. This is Time Pilot, essentially. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh, this, they're really hard to hit. <laughs> it's a different type of control where you're in the middle of the screen. Yeah. So it's like, there you go, get him, get him, yay! Then there's a boss ship. That okay. you need to get after a certain while. Oh my god, this is this is weird. The the control. I'm not used to this kind of game. Ah! Uh, in 2011, Reboot of Jaguar are present, uh, proud to present their latest freely available game for the Dari Jaguar Games Console, oh. written to utilize a new Raptor game engine. Kobayashi Maru is our version of an arcade favorite from the early 80s. Oh, I'm getting too close. Oh, that's know. cool looking. That is cool looking. Unwinnable, like many video games. That's true. A lot of them just keep repeating forever and ever. They're not really meant to be won, a lot of no, games. No, they want you to keep... Wow. Oh. Ah! oh, you let him die. Oh, well. Um, use your rotary controller or regular Jaguar pad. I'll have to get a rotary controller eventually. Or make one. It doesn't look too bad to make. Got him. Oh. Okay, so you can either collect him or shoot him, but if you shoot him, he falls. Yeah, you nice. did it. And then you had... Oh, it automatically Warp. does it. Nice. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Looks like uh, claymation. <laughs> yeah. Um, to steer your warship in this arcade space ah. shooter, battling countless drones and huge boss craft in ever tougher waves of attack. Yeah, no kidding. Featuring subtle use of Jaguar's cry graphics capabilities... Oh. Background graphics blend together as you tear around in the upper atmosphere over four worlds. Head over to the Kabayashi Maru download page to obtain the full game in your favorite file format. Ah. So this was made available for free in 2000... Oh, D -D 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 -D. oh, it is back. Okay, good. Oh, heck yes. Rotary controller for the good Tempesty fun also. Hello. Hey, Chalcedoni Mao. Did I say it right? <laughs> Chalcedoni Mao. Do a stream of you making a rotary. That'd be boring. <laughs> And we, Tanya would have to play the whole time. You want me to play again? Or? Also, you'd be yelling at me, don't solder so poorly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my God, they come at you. Sure, close enough. <laughs> Chalcedoni Mao? Well, that's what Tanya's been calling you. Chalcedoni? Right? Chalcedoni Mao. I, I don't no, know. No, sorry, I don't really dude. Know the word. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you lose, is... You're going to lose some of those guys along the way. Yeah, this would be really good with rotary control. I need my beer back. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, ah. Okay, can I just ah? Oh, you can't. You can't catch him. You what have to. Hell? You have to. He falls, and you have to pick him up as he falls. But I didn't I even shoot him, and he was going faster than me. Oh yeah, no, he falls. He uh, floats, and then he falls down. So don't go above him. At any oh, point. you need to be below him. Yeah. You have to capture him from below. I okay. think so. I think it's easier. I don't remember Ooh. Time Pilot being like that, but this it's is so not weird Time Pilot. to be oh, in this top-down perspective. He'll he'll fall down. There you go. Good job. You can see what's below you <laughs> in behind. So there's clouds and there's mm -hmm. kind of like mountains, a mountain kind of range underneath. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. A bad guy. Whoa. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I know it's. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. He doesn't kill you. Maybe just the middle. Oh, just yeah. It might be just the middle or. Whoa. Or his hitbox is small, I don't know. Yeah. Not hitbox, but... Uh, yeah, hitbox. Just follow him. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's running away. Yeah, you're in the right spot. There, nice. that's how you do it. That's how you get to level two. You can see the resemblance time pilot. A little bit. <laughs> oh, 
And that nice background. Look at the background. The big bomber planes. You're going over some city, you can see. The water. Oh, sorry, dude. That's where he falls fast, is when he... When you shoot him. So you don't want to shoot him, you want to mm. stop shooting, which is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. Don't. Knew it. Did it say dough? Yep. Dope. Oh, no. Dope. No, two in a row. Zero lives. No, sorry, dude. <laughs> They're just points. <laughs> Going for levels. Nice. So I think every X people that come on the screen, <laughs> rescued or not. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm going to play again. Level two. Yeah, go ahead. Homer Simpson is flying it. Yep. Oh. Definitely. Too short of a press. Dan ABC, I had a rotary controller, was really good for JAG. My knob on the rotary came off, might have to get another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can get uh, Jaguar controllers. Three making a rotary. <laughs> three button Jaguar controllers, very, very inexpensive. Oh, yeah? yeah. Like the one you have? Or? Yeah. Mm. Um, I ordered some six button pro controllers. Oh. Oh! Um, so we can play that game, that um, mm. new game. Because mm. it was very difficult with the three buttons. You need the, the two hard. thrusters on the side to make it easier. Is Remember? the Raptor engine a popular choice for Jaguar homebrew? What languages can you use with it? Good question. Yeah. Uh, Probably people in the chat can answer that. Uh, I believe there's two dominant languages, but I think Raptor API is... Yeah, I don't want to say anything. There's a very tuckered no, out no. black kitten on the floor right now. I'm very new oh. to Jaguar. So, but there's a Jaguar programming um, section in the Atari Age forum. C in basic, Cubanismo says. Oh, there we go. You are dead. Yeah. Woo. Level two. C and basic. Okay, that's mm. like the underlying languages. Mm. Oh, yeah, Raptor basic, I've heard of. Oh, oh it. dope. I thought I would sneak by it. <clears throat> Ooh, so many more bullets in this level, I think. I am a little horsed today. You're a little horse? Like Nay. a pony? Little pony? Little pony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Well, I have a cold or something going on. Yeah. Started last night? Yeah. Just tested negative. It's all I okay. did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't know where that came from. Not risking my uh, life to play video games with <laughs> You'd have me locked in the bedroom. Get no, you can't. Here. You can't get out of the bedroom. You can watch on Twitch. Yeah, exactly. You'll just hear comments from the other ah. room. That was terrible. Haha, ha, you died. <laughs> oh, there's the boss. I made it further this time. I'll just be in the Damn chat. It. That's what I would do. I'd just be in the chat. Harassing talking, me? talking, you know. Talking crap. Crap. Yeah. Ooh. Where's the boss? Oh, do I have to start over again? Oh, he's going for faster than I can. <laughs> yeah, even he's fly. never fast. Well, it happens. I'll shoot you then. Oh, do you get any points? Uh. You get for ca you capturing. Might. You get a thousand, which is a fair amount of points. But yeah. Oh, this is would be so much. Oh. Better in road no. I did better. Okay. Well, I want another turn. Oh, Hi, Black Kitten. Eh? No one has decided to treat on you guys yet, eh? Oh, no treats for cats today. No. Oh, he's like asleep. What a cute little guy. Look at him. Look at him fast asleep. You want to give a treat or you want to give some catnip? Now's the time. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, you might no. want to start over. Uh, it's okay. I need the practice. It's, it's, I find the controls like, unique. oh my gosh, they're very unique. Uh, you should have another No, game. no, no. I, I, I will die yeah. very soon. Yeah, so yeah, that's oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Thank you for following Bamat Jiria. Jiria? Mm. Sorry about your name. Not the pronunciation. <laughs> Not the name. <laughs> Not the name. Bahamut Jiria. G G G G G G G. Good 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 game. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> It's treat time. It's treat time. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Treat time. Oh, catnip option not working for me yet. Hmm. Have to check on that. Oh, really? There you go. That's Little treats. Sprite does not know what this is. No, does he hasn't quite figured it out is. yet. Well, he knows what this noise is, though. 
Let me check on the treat time. Are you going to ring the bell, Sprite? It says it's there. What, it, what error does it give you? Get them treats. So you have to ring the bell. Oh, you know what? Good I, kitty. I, I tested it today and it has a one day timeout. <laughs> oh, here. That's why. It's right there. It's right there. So I'm going to reset it. Oh, that's a naughty black cat. He's trying oh. to get the treat. Oh, he's taking the treat away. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Bad kitty. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Channel points. Ring the bell. Oh, found it. Okay. Do we'll do what Atari does. Edit the catnip. Uh, Ring we'll the make bell. The cool down time. Good kitty. One for you. One Two for you. hours for now. And then now it sh should work. I don't know. It should work. Oh, I was just wondering what was on the 2600. Some uh, multi carts. Plus cart, Uno cart, and Harmony cart. Smack it. Harmony Encore. Smack it good. Do it. Smack it. Good kitty. Good kitty. One for you. Party time for kittens. Party time for kittens. <laughs> we'll do cats, it after. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, <laughs> cats, cats, cats. See it? Look. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Hi, kitties. Big eyes. There you go. That's for you. And then I hear you get some catnip. Let him, let him have his treat. Get it before the black cat. Good kitty. <laughs> Who wants some I'll do that. catnip? You play. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, it's a cord. Some catnip. Pile for you. Pile for you. There you go. Smell this. Oh, oh he did not like that. He backed away from it. <laughs> He's like, no, thank you. None of that. I don't do drugs. I am a good kitty. I don't do drugs. No catnip for him. Uh, yeah, you definitely need to get a flash card for the 2600 if you don't have one. Then you can download all the awesome homebrew ah! that are out there. And a lot of the homebrew developers post... Oh, right into it. Post the, post the binaries, um, like work in progress, or even sometimes the fully completed games. Um, so there's tons of games. What are you doing? You're not interested in catnip today? Look at that. <sighs> Probably because he had it last night. That doesn't make any sense. Neither of them. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Neither uh, of them? Nope. Put, neither put of them. more out. I mean, uh, Atari will completely roll in it. There you go. Nope. No, he wants treats. Really? Yep. Oh. Did he ding the catnip? <laughs> he was trying to ding it. Was he? Oh, that's a funny cat. I didn't see that. He's babysitting. He can't get high. He has responsibilities. Oh, oh. No, that was terrible. No, 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 no. D, 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 D. <laughs> you can do it once more? Yeah, one okay. more. That was terrible. Ah. What's wrong with it? Oh, now he's, now he's eating it. He's eating it now. Okay. He'll be rolling around yeah. soon. Now you can... You, I didn't show anybody your bad gameplay, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was on cat cam. Oh, good, because it was very bad. Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not, not used to this weird center control. Yeah, I got to do rotary that's... controls. Ah! Because ah! oh. I've got four um, Jaguar controllers. Yeah. And I can convert one of them over to rotary. So what's what? What do you mean by that? Um, a spinner, just like. Um, oh, okay, like a. Like a driving. Like controller. a paddle. Yeah, a paddle, like a paddle. 2600 paddle. Whoa, you almost killed yourself. Oh. It would have given you a Medal of Honor afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Died bravely trying to save her comrades from certain death. Oh, oh that's except for okay. That guy. Sometimes sometimes you just can't. She didn't like that guy. No, that guy didn't. Shifty. No. no Shifty he, looking. He, he didn't deserve uh... oh, ah! Right into the bullet. Get him. Get him. Oh, good. Oh, oh my goodness! Right. In. Okay. okay. You've had Terrible. Enough. Time to time for the next one. Don't oh. ring the catnip, silly cat. <laughs> yeah. Are you rolling in it yet? He's, Look he's... at this! Look at this! Bring it over to the what other pile. That? Look at so, this. The Look next at game all. we're gonna be playing. Look at it all. 
roll in it. He usually like rolls around in it's it. Rocketeer rebooted. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there, there he we goes. go. Now we have a high cat. Commander Gwyn Williams looked out of the front of what remained of his ship, watching helplessly as sections of it fell down through the atmosphere. It's cargo raining down on the world below. Luckily, the three main sections of the ship landed near each other. So putting it all back together in one piece should be no problem. Mm -hmm. So if you can load that up. Okay. Rocketeer? Yes. You can fly Commander Williams around using his rocket pack to pick up fuel, cargo, and other items falling from orbit. Very nice. Title screen. Mm. Um, Option for settings? What are the settings? Oh, lots. Stereo, mono, stereo, mono. Yeah, we'll keep it on stereo. Effects volume, five. I would leave them both on five. Music volume, um, four. Hard, easy, normal. Hmm, we'll uh, go with normal. normal and we'll see how it goes. Auto fire on. Uh, off. Let's keep it off. Cheat? There's a cheat. cheat. Oh. Am I not allowed to cheat not, if I not select immediately. on? Not immediately. Not immediately Credits? cheating. Exit, okay. All right. I have no idea. What is this again? What's the control? Oh. I think after you accidentally kill a falling pilot, the enemy oh, ships are only worth one no. point. Oh, I missed that. That looked cool. Okay, is so you have platformer? to pick up. Pick, yeah, uh, flying pat platformer, I guess you could call it. So uh, the code of this, you have to pick up all those parts on the. There you go. Do you have to press a button to pick up parts? So you have to reassemble to your ship. Let me read the instructions a bit further. So you definitely need to know how to do this. Um, assembling your ship by collecting oh. sections and stacking them on top <clears throat> of the base in, in the oh. correct order. How do I how do I do that? Um, it does not say. Oh, no, it it doesn't say what button. So try the different buttons. A, B, C. No, not those ones. No, none of it's working. Try down, up. Maybe that's not a thing. I don't know. Maybe you have to get the other one first. Oh, I don't know. Let's try that again. We'll figure it out. There yeah. you go. One piece. That's the bottom, I guess. Oh, there you go. So you have to do it in a certain order. The top one. And then you have to spell out reboot to get an extra life. Oh, now you need the gas. Uh, collecting ah! all the bonus items to spell reboot will grant you an extra life, okay, up to a maximum of nine. Let's try this. Be careful one. not to shoot the bonus items, so you can accidentally shoot them. Ah, uh, okay. So this is where this is the game where all the postcards are from. Gotcha. Yeah. And right into it. Right into the first thing. Oh that my appeared god. On the screen. <laughs> Kamikaze pilot. Oh, get those to spell why, reboot. Why? Why? They're different now. They're not random? the same. They're not the same baddies anymore. Maybe it's a little bit random. Or maybe the planet you go on is random. Was it ice like ice before? There you go. Oh, it's <laughs> keep crashing into them. <sighs> oh my goodness. Yeah, get the cylinder on the top platform first, and because the bottom part of your ship's already there, so you don't need to get that one. At least on this level. Yeah, You're it's just... randomizing the, the type of enemies. Don't shoot that O. You shot the O. Oh, whatever. Ah! It, it, it's so floaty, the Slippery. movement. Yeah. Not the easiest. Definitely not the easiest. His movement is super, super. So this was originally released in 2013. Um... Oh. Following the Jaguar CD releases of Kabayashi Maru Final and Jaguar Collection 1, Reboot and RG CD are back with another serving of unashamedly old-school arcade goodness in the form of Full Circle, full circle Rocketeer. Rebuild and reload your crashed spacecraft while fending off endless wave of hostile aliens and meteors in 16 unique levels spread over four worlds. Uh, 50, 60 flame, frames per second fluid gameplay, Alpal NTSC, powered by Reboot's Raptor game oh. engine. Eight channel digital sound. I can't hear it now. It's too quiet. I mean, it's pretty simple the way it, it, it runs. Yep. Um, it's really nice. I, I, it's, it is. There's your gas. Careful, careful. He's really floaty. I think that's what makes it really well, challenging. You're on another planet. 
Oh, more gas. Shooting Ugh. all the bonus items. I know, I'm trying not to, but it's like you have to shoot things or you get killed, so... Oh, I almost fall. One more piece. I doubt it. I doubt better. I'll get there. Oh, you finally got a bonus. Ah, you're just all over the okay, place. Okay, my turn. Okay, you'll do much better. Sick of it. <laughs> Sick of it. <laughs> Sick of it. I think sprite scaling <clears throat> is native to the Jaguar. Mm. Oh, I wish I knew all these things. Simple mini games and deluxe demos. Pretty much, yeah. yeah they're really all fun. All compiled together. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's an enemy. Yeah. I look like a space helmet. No. Okay, so one of them is it's shoot and one of them pretty is fly. floaty. No, no, just move around. What? You don't oh, up. You just go up. Oh, okay. That's yeah, much it's better. it's very easy. Yeah, it's just I find the floatiness of it makes it, it makes them a little hard to control. Yeah. It's really cool though. Just don't be panicky and you'll be fine. Uh, that's not gonna happen. And he's a panic cat. I am a panic cat. Enemies only come from the side. That's why I'm much better at puzzle games and not so good at like horror games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything so that scares me, middle. forget it. <laughs> forget it. Oh, you shot your E. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Oh, of oh, course. That, bad timing. The fuel being on the side. We haven't even finished one level. It's pathetic. No, we have not. <laughs> Come, you came close. You can put it on easy if you want. There'll probably be less no. things to shoot. Shouldn't have to start on easy. That's for kids. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, come on. Oh, I have to click Yeah, it, after. it has to drop after. Have it to has finish. to, yeah, completely finish. Uh, need to clear space. I like, I like this randomized... Um, where things are? Yeah. Uh, oh, randomized the enemies. enemies. It's kind of neat because you start the level and they're all a little Just different. Just throw you for a loop. It's like, oh, what kind yeah. of enemies am I going to get? Because they all have different attack patterns. Yes, they do. The kamikaze pilots or whatever they're supposed to be kind of go zigzaggy, which was... Come on, fuel. Well, I guess they all oh do that, zigzagging. Oh, you've got to be close. Uh, get in there. It's a lot of fuel. Oof. You almost died there. Yes, I did. You only have to go over top of your spaceship. Yeah, and then it falls, which is kind of nice. I think the letters are random, so even if you already have that letter... It's like Ladybug. It's, might yeah. not be the letters you need. <laughs> no, it might be the letters you already have. Yep. So you just get points for it. But you do need two O's. Oh, come on. How come you had so much fuel on yours? Oh, is this it? There Yay! We, we have to get down take there off. to take off. There we nice. go. Oh, Cubanism O says, Jag has great sprite, sprite scaling. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So it's in the same era as N64, which also had sprite scaling. Okay, which is the top? I'm guessing I have to do this one first. The nice thing is it won't let you get oh it. God. I don't like those planes. I don't know. They're too small or something. Careful. Good job. Thank you. Now it's... Ah! Oh, stuck! <laughs> stuck on a ledge. I guess technically if we bring it down to the ground, it's faster. Uh, like if you, if, you, if you go low, bring it low. Oh, that's true. From the side. That's true. It, that's it's, it's faster. Smart it doesn't, tactic. It gets you through the level. I love the colorful quicker. bullet. Yeah, I love that too. The rainbow bullets. That. They're really cool. You could really do that in cool. uh, 2600. You just yeah. change the color every... Um, every line. Every line. There's really clever ways to make games um, just a little bit more colorful and fun. I'm going to try it down at the bottom. Yeah, pro tips, exactly. Yeah, some pro tips. Yeah. <laughs> then you get the next fuel faster. Yeah. Oh, just need a B and a T. Yeah, if you bring it. There you nice. go. That's what you do. Good thinking. Oh. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I I do really like the shots. There you oh, go. Right, and you right, go right into, into it. it. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Saving time. Whoosh. Mm -hmm. Man, these screens are great. They're great. There's such a mix of art styles in this. Yeah. You got the pixelated. You've got like the beautiful, almost More painted realistic. background. Yeah. 
Ooh, flaming asteroids. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're goodness. moving a little bit faster now. Those are a little intimidating. Oh, come on. Get out of here. What is that? Tea? Get the tea. Get it. Good job. Oh. Oof. There we go. I do need that for extra life. Woo! Good job. Thank you. You're better than I am. Than oh. I was. oh no! Well, it's good I had the extra life. Yeah, I guess. there you go. <laughs> Got it just in time. Yeah, the higher the higher platforms oh. make it worse, I think. Um, yes. Because so you have to travel a lot further. Oh, I think I shot something. Uh, maybe. Oh, I got stuck on the... Right to the bottom. Can't... Oh, there's the fuel level. Almost um, there. Somebody made this on uh, the 2600 as well, I believe. Really? Yep. Yeah, I can see it. I yeah, can see it. Yeah, it's very, very, very simplistic um, game. There's platforms, which is play field. There's you, which is a player, and I mean, there's going to be some flicker because there's a lot of enemies. But <laughs> what? Oh. oh, you can just go right into it. No, I don't want that. Oh, you're silly. You're silly. Oh, oh shoot, and you just you shot it. There you go. That does look like the monolith. It is. <laughs> it's a one by. Um, there's a big. There's a big. Uh, one by four by nine is the monolith. Fetus in space that you're now. That's right. It's the fetus level? No. The fetus level. <laughs> Where's my rocket ship? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, they're fast. Oh, there's no bottom. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just oh there is a bottom. It's just hidden. Oh, they're moving fast. Look at that guy zipping around. Are they going after me? Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, sometimes you have to oh, shoot. <laughs> last life. I need some... Need some extra, extra letters going on here. I don't like the rocket ship so close to the mm. edge. Well, it means you'd end up dropping it, I guess. Yeah. <gasps> oh, so close, so close to the. I don't, I don't want to go down there. Look at those things. They're, they've they've got, got little zappies. tasers in the front of them. Ugh. Terrible. Tasers were like the height of 90s <laughs> warfare. Were. Yeah, everybody oh, was everyone, being tased. You gotta, you gotta get a taser. You gotta get, you know, protect your yourself. Self with a defense. Taser. Now you don't hear about them very much. It's Maybe like, they're just really commonplace. No, no, tasers and mace. <laughs> tasers and mace. Yeah, don't hear about mace that much anymore. You have to actually touch the rocket. You do. To get into the rocket. Welcome to asteroid level. So how many levels have the guy gone on? Number oh five. There we go. They're doing very well. Thank you. Got very some well. tactics going. Once you you get used to the movement, I found him very floaty. Kept oh, running into things. Floaty. Yeah. But I know you stay in the middle because they only come out on the sides. As, oh, really? They don't come from the top? Nope. That would be deadly. Oh, that's and it, really and good to know, actually. as long as you actually. keep clearing it, the screen keeps fairly clear. Yeah. Like you just keep strafing the whole screen. Strafing side to side. Uh -oh. oh, well. Yeah. That is an issue. Yeah. But no one wants to die, so. No. Oh, I only need a B. Nice. That's not a B close to the edge of the screen for me to risk it. Nice. Your shots wrap around a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting that you have so much firepower, and yet it's so easy to collide with an enemy. Yeah. It's slippery. It's a slippy, slippy game. Yeah. Take off. Woo! It's really nice to have this much firepower. The cavern. Ooh. There's lots of different levels. It said there was only four. Maybe they've uh, added some more. I was reading out old information. Where's the ship? It's so dark because it has no fuel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now they're coming from the top. That is definitely now more challenging. Now it's bad. I'm staying down here. They're not coming from the bottom. Oh, now they're coming from the diagonally too. Yeah. Crazy. They're, they are coming from the top. I am using that platform as... Yeah. The platform does actually kind of oh, it blocks them. help you. 
Need to be. Yeah, stay under the platform for sure. If oh no. It's okay. gonna be deadly. No! Ah! Oh, shot it just in time. Yeah, try and get by this. Come on. You can't get by this. <laughs> Actually, if I go right here. Oh, there's an R. Don't need that. Oh. I pretty much cover the whole screen. Yeah, true. Cannot get by me, <laughs> impenetrable force. <laughs> I am protecting the bottom of the uh -oh, screen. Uh -oh, oh no! See, this is how they get you. Oh boy! You have to get it. Yeah, you do. Horizontal fire, vertical movement, challenging. Oh yeah! Look at that! It's the TARDIS the... taking off no, into it space. Is. It's a sort of tall TARDIS. <laughs> Welcome kind to Sky Valley. I might submit my score on this one. <laughs> oh, wavies. Wavies, hard to hard to hit. Where's my ship? Oh, animated background in this one. It's a little fire down down over in the right hand side. Oof, oof. Oof. how optimistic the programmers mm -hmm. were with the scores. Look how many digits there are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, if you can play forever, if you want. We'll keep your score. Oh my God. Can I have a B? Please? <laughs> a B? A B? B? Any B? Anybody? A B? Anyone? A B? B? Oh, thank and you. And it will never throw a B at you. <laughs> Yes. Nope, not so far. Oh, no. man, it's over. Oh, I no. It was, a B. it was an E. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't a B. Good game, though. Yes. Very good game. I am not 000. surpassing that score, so that was a very, very good game. And this one doesn't keep scores. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, we didn't see this. Oh, no. There you go. My turn. Uh, prob unless you. I, I'm not more. gonna. I'm not gonna get as good a score. Okay. I think you. You showed off a lot of levels. That was really good. Yes. Um, and the next game is Expressway Reexpressed. Mm. This is a two-player game. It's actually a four-player game. Oh really? Up to four. Ooh, you have to we share. Played that. We could have played that on a four-player day. That's um, cool. You have to share controllers though. Oh, switch four. back and forth? No, you literally share controllers. Oh, really? Oh, that yes. would have been fun. I would have enjoyed that. Yeah, that would have been quite quite the game. Cubanismo. My older daughter was very impressed with that game. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> thank oldest you, daughter. Older. <laughs> or older daughter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not oldest. I don't know if it's the oldest. Yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, I, I, that, that was, was a good fun. Round. That I was mean, a good that's round. a fun game. I've played that on other uh, platforms before. I can't remember the name of it on the other platforms. Okay, the next one is a port of uh, Freeway. Actually, another Activision. Oh, game. Freeway. Okay. It, it's called Expressway Reexpressed. A simple party game for up to four players simultaneously. Just nice. simply try to cross the road as many times as you can in the time allowed. The player with the most successful crossings will be the winner. There are 10 roads to select from, each with different traffic patterns. Oh my goodness, that is a rainy windshield we're looking through. So, that's, that's... 8, 9, 10. Okay, there's a bunch of different roads so to we'll choose. Do zero. I'll pick one. Or one. Uh, yeah. Easy. Um, I don't know if there's an option. Oh, there it is. Hard, easy. Okay, easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is. He's a little black. I know. Look at fluff him. Ball. Oh. Look at him. Look He's at that, so really. tired. You can see his little Ebby uh, sushi uh, cat toy over there, too. Is it crunchy? Is it a crunchy one? I don't Makes think noises. it is. Oh, don't disturb him. It is. A little bit crunchy. Oh, you've woken him up. Look at that. There's your crunchy toy. There you go. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Um, what am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, move your thing. You're number one. What am I? You're... You're moving. 
No, I'm not. Up and down. What is going on? It's freeway. Move up and down. I'm not doing anything. What's you, going on? Are you, you are, going? Are you moving? Here. Oh, no, See? you're playing. No, look. Up, down, No, you up, were down, playing. Up, down, You up, were playing. I know. It's a two-player okay, game. Okay, I didn't realize that. It <laughs> confused the hell out of me. I'm like, what's going on? Drive me crazy. I didn't realize you were playing with me. <laughs> you don't listen to instructions. No, but I didn't realize you were playing. Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, why is that other person moving? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We should restart. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, what is going on? Why is that other person moving up the screen? I thought it was a demo. So you weren't wondering why you were playing. I thought it was a demo. You are wondering what the other I was person like, was like, why, why? What's going on here? Hi, Atari. Hi, sweetie cat. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're you don't get, destroying um, me. You don't get stunned for too long as, as long as no. you're on uh, freeway. So you get... Recovery time is like almost instantaneous. Yeah, it's more about the knockback. Maybe hard is more knockback. We should oh, try that. Oh yes. Or definitely. maybe maybe their cars are faster. Who knows? Oh, you're just destroying me. Well, the traffic patterns were the different um, levels. I'm not terrible at freeway. Uh, yeah, no kidding. I'm not an expert, but I'm not terrible. I've got a cat too. Yeah. You might be beating me, but I have an Atari cat. So. You're very lucky. I am a very lucky person. Oh, his chin is on my arm. Oh, oh. you're so cute. Adorable. <gasps> Smokers. This is a cute game. It's oh, very, yeah. very simple game. Time, Time up. up. Oh, 26 to 17. Destroy. Oh, yeah. Press button. So let's go hard. Okay. What was it? Option? Hard. Okay. Let's do a different road. Oh, sorry. Just... Star and pound, maybe? Maybe. No. Try the pause. pause. Try the option. No. B, A, B, C. No. Just... Can we die? No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, you're dying. You can't die. No, you go back to the beginning. If you get hit, you go oh back to the beginning God. now. That's what hard is. Okay, we'll do this well, one then. Well, let's, let's show it off and we'll try just, another road. Just the same background. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get hit on this one. This is much better. This this feels much more balanced. The easy was a little too easy, I think. There's more at stake with... Oh yeah, you have to be uh, more cautious with this one. They under umbrellas? Is that what's going on? It's what it looks like. Oh, it's... they kiss at the top. Oh, you do they? Oh, that's it's... sweet. They made it safely running across a freeway. Yeah, no kidding. It's not a good date. No, it's not a good date. A ten... Not a recommended date night uh, no, for for the, for the couples freeway. in the audience, right? Like, no. Let's run across a freeway. That's what we're going to do in our... Ah! So romantic. Oh, oh you... <laughs> Not fair. Not fair. Look at this blue, slow, ah, oh, slow blue cars. They get you every time. It's my grandmother's, my grandmother <laughs> driving in the blue cars. <laughs> slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Oh, too far. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Yay, Somebody. thank you. We can't look right now because we're ground both trooper. playing. Thank Yay, you. ground trooper. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. Terrible. Oh, no, I'm, no, I'm just not somewhere. doing well. Not doing well. Oh. Got to be risky. You do. But not too risky. Yeah. Oh, time's almost up. Oh, I go a little too far. I, I, I oh. cross over a lane. All right. oh. <laughs> Horrible date. Why did we park so far away? <laughs> That's right. Exactly. And exactly. It's when your partner's like, oh, the parking's too expensive. We're going to have to park further away because it's cheaper. Or they're too lazy to go across the overpass. <laughs> True. Because a 12-lane highway yeah. has, has pedestrian yeah. overpasses for sure. Okay. Press the button. Let's pick a different uh, background. I've seen only one of them. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Eight. Let's pick eight. Sure. On hard. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I have to go back. This is... Oh, some of them are so slow. Ah, no, too far. Oh, so close. No. I'm not very good in half measures, apparently. <laughs> it's all or nothing. It's all... I just go a little too far. Oh. 
That's good. Oh, it's I go the too far. That no, it's, it's not. The it's the person. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of dead couples in this game. Very mushed up strip. Very mushed up. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, so slow. Oh, 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 no, too far. Oh, no. <laughs> Not good at it. Not good at it. No, 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 no. Oh. This one is definitely more challenging than the last one, for oh, sure, for yeah. sure. They take up a lot of space. Going too high. Oh, stop going too far. You barely fit oh. in a lane. Yeah. Like, barely. So you kind of have to keep track of two lanes at once. Oh. Oh. No, you're done so much better than me Actually, on this the one. Hitbox <gasps> the hitbox is so doesn't weird. include your feet. So if anything, go a little bit low. Oh. If you're going to stand somewhere. Oh. Come on, boy, yellow bus. Move those kids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not good. Not good. It, yeah, the hitbox is is tight. Ugh. To play an ex they should make for an extreme version oh, where too anytime far. you get hit, you lose a point. Oh, how bad would That'd that be? That'd be like cautious city. Yeah. Like, oh, oh my god. I do like the fact that you start back at the beginning, though. I think that that's better. I think the easy is too easy. Ah, uh, see, I go too far. I'm doing fine, but uh, that was awful. Destroy. Brutal. Destroy. <laughs> Okay, one more different level. Okay. Pick a random one. Oh, okay. Uh, let's but try. Great artwork. I love four. the buses and the cart. Oh, oh. This is not much different. No, it's very similar. It's less. There's bigger spaces. But Are they? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention to the traffic. Oh. Oh, you got hit right at the end? Me? No. I, oh, you I, got one? No, but I, I, I go too far. I go just, I hit, I think I'm in the lane and I'm not. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. That's that's what's kind of oh, killing me right now. Oh, see, this is, I don't quite get what the positioning is. Your feet are fine. Your umbrella is fine. I guess The so. rest of it is the hitbox. Yeah. Come on, yellow buses. Move your back. Oh, see, I was in the next lane and I didn't think I was that far forward. Yeah, don't go too high. I think that's it. You just have to... Oh! <laughs> it's what get... gets me every time. It's it, it like I just go a little too far into the next lane and then whatever's coming across hits me. When you get hit, you hear squealing tires. I know, it's funny. So funny. Or, or a honking. Yep. Oh, it's very tight. It sounds so realistic. Oh, so close. Sounds like it's like outside, the honking. No, dead. Oh, so hard. Oh. I, have to, I have to look at my feet. It's The feet have to be just across the line. The extreme version has not buses and fire engines, but whole, whole trains. trains. Wow. You have to jump through the openings yeah. in the trains. I need to run out. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay. I mean, I guess you could play against yourself. <laughs> Because it is timed and there is a score, so you can just get try and get the high score. Let's just take a look at one more. Um, how did she pick uh, the levels? Oh, there you go. Oh, you just type it in. Let's just take a look at one more. Little cars, tiny little cars, not too bad. Yeah, I think they get harder as the numbers go up, which makes sense. So you're not just randomly trying to pick pick something. Okay, so let's go on to the next game.
It's okay to be late, ground trooper, as long as you show up. So, the next game is... Rocks Off Again! There we go. A simple logic puzzle based on the handheld electronic game Lights Out. The idea is to make all the planets disappear. When you select one, that, pa that planet and the four around it vertically and horizontally will change the opposite position. If they were visible, they will disappear. If they were gone, they will return. There are a hundred levels in the game and the progress for completed levels is to save, is saved to the cartridge. So, um, nice. did you ever one? have a Merlin or know somebody with a Merlin or ever played a Merlin? Merlin? Do you know what that is? It's the red handheld telephone-like game system where it's all the round buttons and they light up and there's multiple games. Merlin. I mean, it sounds familiar. Cyrano! Hey! Hello! Been watching without a sound. It's a work. Oh, no. <laughs> Two hidden games. Really? I only found one hidden game. Oh, you found one. Well, it's obvious in the chat, in the, uh, in the forums, but I oh. didn't know there was a second hidden oh. game. Excellent. Logic puzzle? Well, it would be good to play that second hidden game. Yes, yeah, a logic puzzle. It's It flips. So press the button. So this is by Lauren Stavely, uh, who oh. is Cyrano J, who's in the chat. Um, I rocks to off again. Okay, so you have to see your position. It'll yeah. turn off. It'll switch the ones horizontally and vertically around it. Am I trying to fill the screen? Trying or? to get rid of them. Oh, you're trying to get rid of them. Okay. So from the reboot website, it says, were you around in the 1970s? <laughs> Barely. Were you lucky enough to own a Merlin handheld electronic game? Oh. How about lights out if you're a little older? Turned out music a little bit. This oh, see, bit yeah, older. I shouldn't have just started randomly clicking things because I think I've made this no, way no. worse for myself than I needed to. I had a Merlin as a kid. I loved that thing Ground Trooper says. I remember the dentist had a Merlin. Oh, the dentist. No, no, you're making more up above. Oh, you're making more. No. It, it's very hard. <laughs> you should have told me from the beginning what I was doing because... Oh, there's still always a way out. There you go. Hi, I didn't realize kitten. you could click on the negative spaces. <laughs> How about lights out if you're a little older? Oh dear, we can see a few of you are already going a little pale, looking for the nearest exit. Yes, it's that classic puzzle game. Switch off all the lights and do it again and again and again. <laughs> Code by L. Stavely, music by MSGRG, artwork supplied by opengameart.org. Yeah, I would not have started it this way. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I have played this game, but you a have? long time ago. You have read everything there is about it. We can reset it. I'm sure there's some buttons to reset That's or go okay. to the next one. Hey, okay, now you're gathering them. Good, good. There you go. Getting close. Not really. Now, if you go there, it'll make one over there. So go there. There you go. This is still no good. So close. Down to three. Not really, but yeah. yeah. I think my friend also had a Merlin. I never had a Merlin. Closest thing I had to a handheld gaming device as a kid was something called Data Man, which was most mostly a calculator. <gasps> Funny. Um, and it came with an iron-on patch with it. So my mom got a um, white T-shirt and ironed on the Data Man patch. <laughs> Height of geekiness. And I wore that T-shirt. Mm. Ivory Tower Collection says I've got a Merlin complete and block box in my display case. Nice. I haven't played this in so long, like I can't even remember uh, the I mean, strategy on it, so... Ugh, that's brutal. Again, you can end up in a position where you can't get rid of enough. Yeah, there's always... There you go, you're moving them. No, it, it's, not, it's not about moving them. <laughs> You have to you have to look at what you start with and figure out how to how to get rid of it. You kind of so. have to use the edges to get rid of things, I believe, right? Well, yeah. Mm. Terrible. This is terrible. 
I feel terrible I have a picture. Now. I'll post in the ZPH f- Facebook post for today's episode. That's a good place. Mm-hmm. Among, among other, along a few other handhelds in the day and some 70s calculators. 70s calculators. Mm-hmm. So funny when people collect calculators. But I love a, it. It's a big thing. It is a big thing. I mean, I just have, um, I have game and watches and tabletops, you know, the standard video game kind of stuff. Okay, go to the next level. What? <laughs> so I think it probably starts on a in a place where it's like, oh, you do three or four moves and you're done. I'm sure. Yeah. Arg, what's the 2600 homebrew of this one called? Oh, and anything with Nixie tubes. Oh, yeah, Nixie tubes are awesome. Nixie tubes. Yeah, there's definitely a 2600 version. Oh, what is it called? I don't know if we've even played that one on the show. So close. No. There you go, you won. No. Don't like any of this. <laughs> don't like it at all. No. Okie dokie. Have we played I think I've been saving Okie dokie for maybe we have played it. Let me check. Because I'm going to do an episode where it's like the first homebrews. First Atari 2600 homebrews episode. And I think Okie Dokie is one of the first ten. So I haven't played it. Mm. Okie. No, I haven't played it. Yeah, I've been saving it. The first game is 2048. Yep. I like to Albert gave gave that one out. Yes, that's a great so that's the one I know. So you press twenty forty eight at the title screen. The second one is like mm, I don't know what the second one is because I think Cyrano said the hint is in the manual for the first one. It says you all helped push the button, but it doesn't give a hint that oh twenty forty eight is the bonus one. So it is an is it a numbered the second one is absolutely terrible. Do not expect much from it. Well, that's okay. We just want to show it off. So, is that also a hint for the second one? Push the button? What other games are numbered? Number games. Maybe it's like 911 or something. It's from the AC 2013 party. Maybe it's 2013 you type in. Okay, go to another level. I don't know how to do that. When well, you're, you're, you're telling me to go to another level. Well, I don't know what, what I'm anything. supposed to be doing. There you go. Okay. What was back? It was these two. Oh, okay. You have to tell me that. Well, I don't know. I just was trying things. Pause is pause. That's these it. are always fun. So hold AC2013. Oh. There you go. I got was close. 2013. That was close. So what is this one called on Rebooted? This guy. Uh, no, I read it out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Rocks Off Again. Because they're all slightly different versions of things that have been released. Mm. Vitoko, you're right. You have, to, you have to get it into a star formation, and then you can delete the star. Mm. That's essentially what it is. Or an edge of a star. It's not easy to do. I've played these games before, and there is strategy to them, but it's been a long time. Yeah, see that? Okay, yeah. That's what's hard. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is that close? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> there, down to two. High score. No, okay. Well, I want to play now. I don't want to watch <laughs> you playing it. It's 100 levels. <laughs> I think once you kind of uh, figure it out, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's like a Rubik's Cube, I think. Oh, no, no, go back. Go down one, two, there. Yes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought you were on the edge. You're not. You have to get it to the the corners. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you have to get, get it to the corners. Now you're back to where you were before. Is it? Yep. There. Da, 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 no. da, da, da. Go up one. Go up one. There? Yeah. Okay. 
No. Go to the corner. Go to the corner? Yeah. Yeah, because they're always doing ones where it's right beside the and one then, you're doing. Uh, it's no. still not good. No. 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 <laughs> it's very no. hard. It's very hard. I'm sure there's experts at oh, this game. Oh, I'm sure it's not actually hard to, to figure it out. It's, uh... Not happening today, boys no. and girls. <laughs> but we wanted to show it off anyway. Mm -hmm. Little kitten, you want to come say hi? No matter how many things I do, it doesn't get much better. Kitten on a pillow? Oh, he's soft. Hi. He's malleable. He's sleepy. Yeah. Force cuddles? Force cuddles. There we go. Oh, no. No, he wants no for None of that. Okay, now none we're going to get into the. <laughs> The bonus games. Yay, bonus games. Now we'll do the AC2013 first. Meow. Oh, do you hear him? What? What? What do you want? Come here. Okay. Ace. Do you have to do it all at once? Yeah, you do have to do it all at once. Very old missiles in time. Vomit. Screen one, navigate the maze, avoid the robots, which will slowly try to home in on you, find the diamond to open the doors, then exit. Screen two, survive the onslaught of falling objects for 30 NTSC seconds. <laughs> 30 NTSC seconds, as opposed to gotcha. PAL seconds. No, because there's PAL time. So this obviously, <coughs> this was made in uh, NTSC land. Yeah. Screen three, traverse the deadly minefield. Press B to play. Who meowed? I will, oh, I will let you guess. It, it is the little... The Exits little are open. Get out quick. Little sprite who, who squeaks almost more than meows. There exits? You know. Like in gauntlet exits? Oh, my. Oh, is that an exit? What is that? Door? Is that an exit? Oh, no. Wall. It's, it's a thin line. It's a thin line. Uh, oh. Oh, I can shoot. Okay, there we go. Bye-bye. Good. I can get rid of you. They're not moving, so it's not Why that are you bad. meowing? I have health. Oh, my God. Is that an exit? Oh, it Yay. is an exit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't shoot these guys. Dodge. 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 They're all waving at me. Hey, be our friends. <laughs> we won't hurt you. Oh, we got a kitten. Oh, kitten on the couch. Yeah. Let's go over here. 30 seconds. 30 NTSC seconds. NTSC seconds. <laughs> that is phrased very funny. Are you going to attack? Oh my god. What? Oh, oh, cross the minefield. Oh my god. Exits are locked. Fine. So I failed on the minefield, I think. Did you? Yeah, because it came on so quickly. Get the diamond. Get out quick. Run okay. away. The exit is not. Oh, oh. my god. Not I like super. that they, they're waving at you. That's hey, really funny. buddy. Hey, buddy. I think this is the exit. No. Almost. I'm just going to go to the right. Keep going to the right. Oh, there we go. Try the minefield. Do it properly this time. Because I didn't know what was happening. It sprung on me immediately. Minefield? Yeah, the third level. Oh. It's just, it's robots. And you have to, you automatically walk to the right. Okay. And you have to go up and down to avoid them. It's kind of like this, except the robots are still. <laughs> and you're moving. You're moving. But horizontally. It's like this flipped on its... <laughs> oh, I got... Ah! Ah! Well, I, that's hard. Holy crap, you have one health left. Oh. That that's... is super fast. I didn't even notice that. Super fast. Find the diamond. They're not moving. Can you shoot? Yeah. When yeah. you No, when you walk uh, to no. the right? Well, maybe, but I didn't try because I was too freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> try this time, if I make it. Oh, there's a little squeaker cat next to you. Oh, squeaker cat. Are you squeaker? Yeah, you're Oh, the diamond is very hidden this time. There's yeah. the exit. Yeah. Last time I found the diamond, that was right in front of me. Yeah, they're Unless really big diamonds, too. Close to too. the wall. I'm not sure if the walls are zappy or not. Oh, Serrano reboot. So we had to make a game in 24 hours, and, f and I failed, as you can see. It no. wasn't a failure. It's pretty no. fun. for it's... 24 hours, you have three levels going on? It's pretty scary, though. The <laughs> this is... The running through the... Uh... I like the uh, shading of your flashlight, actually. Look how, how it trails off. Yeah. Like, 
It's quite good. Actually. I like the waving robots. That's cute. <laughs> down it's here. pretty oh. funny. Oh, there it is. That's a massive diamond. Get the diamond. Exits are open. Oh, oh there's so there's more, more than, than one. one. But I know there's one all the way to the right. Okay. Now, I can't shoot here, so I, I assumed on the third level you couldn't shoot. But mm. I don't think there's any scoring in this game. It's just about levels, but is there even... Does it show you levels? I'm not sure. It's just a continuous game you play. Yeah, true, <laughs> true, true. Am I safe over here? All the way to the left? So far. Oh, 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 oh. cheesing. I'm cheesing the game. <laughs> but you're going to run oh, to the ah! right. Ah! Okay. There you go. You Did play you for shoot? a little bit. No? I didn't try. Oh, who, meow who meowed? Oh, is this oh, little fluff yeah. ball. Sweetie. Yeah, it's Sprite. Squeak! Oh, you definitely didn't fail. Oh, you got nine health back. Hi. You start with nine. He does like sleeping between us. And he doesn't mind being pet. He was a little standoffish um, on day one and day two. I think the exits are up, down, left, right, but it's I, I always found it on the right-hand side. No, you can't go backward. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's because you're in the dark. You can't yeah, see. True. You can't see movement. I can't see movement. Yeah. Then you just go all the way down. That's an exit. There you go. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi. We want to be your friend. Touch us, and we take your health. <laughs> Oh, you're the so sweet. You're the sweetest cat. You've seen it all. Feel free to hit the reset button. Oh, no, it's not <laughs> bad. No. It works. We have played much more sparse games on this show. <laughs> I promise you that, yeah. <gasps> Did you make it through? Yep. Without touching? Yep. Okay. Are it you says done? I have eight health. I'm not sure how that's possible. Oh. Did you accidentally touch something? Maybe you touched a wall. I don't know. Maybe I did. Oh, it was in the wall. The diamond was stuck wall in diamond. the wall. Oh, no. Mm. What's going on? Bad cats. Oh, I oh. know. You don't get to do what you want. It's the worst ever. Kind of like these falling robots. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> oh, are you protesting? Is protest this what's cat? happening? Cat protest? Yeah, he's like... Messing with the cable. No, no, no. Who is messing with the cable? Both these cats. Are Both of them. Oh my goodness. Interested in the cables. Is that a cheese on the left hand side? I think it is, yeah. Oh. I think oh. it is. Hi. Oh, you're adorable. Ah. You are adorable. You're gonna fall oh, off the couch. Two. Okay. You're done. Okay. Okay. So next and so last cute. one is the last hidden game in this cartridge. Okay. It's 2048, and you have to press them all at the same time. Do no, you? You have to press all of them at the same time. Once you're on the title screen. No, no, not, not AC. Not AC. Right here. Not AC. Just not 248? Yeah. 248? 2048. There you go. <gasps> Yay! Yay! I love this game. Thank you for following. Thank you for following, Comp Cube. Glad you're enjoying it. 2048! I'll leave this to Tanya. <laughs> I love this game. People get mad when I play. Do they? Because <laughs> I just go left, 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 down, 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 left, left, left. Or right, 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 yeah. Very nice colors on this. Very nice layout. Very simple. I don't think the other one was... Um, the other game hint that was contained in this that we just played was ever posted because Cyrano doesn't like the game. It's like, oh. I'm embarrassed of it. What? I'm not going to tell anybody. No. The secret's out now. No, it's it's damn good, way better than I can do in 24 hours. Oh my <laughs> god. This one is by Atari, A Atari Age user... Uh, to Arnold. He kindly allowed me to include it. Oh, very nice. Does he get uh, secret credits in the in the manual? Ooh, secret credits. No. Oh, he does. There it is. <laughs> to, to Arnold. 
Thanks to Linkovic, Zero Square, Seamus, ISL, Sinister, Developments, To Arnold, and all those who supported Reboot and the Jaguar over the course of the last decade. You all helped push the button. Mm. So this is kind of a, a collection, culmination of little games that uh, Reboot has made, um, packaged all together, which is a great idea. Because if you have a bunch of small games... Yeah. It's a little bit harder probably to sell them individually, but if you package them all together like this, it's like, well, you're going to like a bunch of them on here. True. And I definitely liked a bunch of them. We will go back and talk about those. Actually, we'll talk about them right now. <laughs> um, uh, the, I don't think there's two players on the Tetris one, but the Tetris was a very good Tetris, especially with yeah. the extra options. Oh, I think that's very cool. What, what was it reminds called? Me of, not Tetris. Reminds what was me the of name? Tetris 2. Oh, yeah. It was uh, Bebris. Bebris. Special like it a edition. lot. Very challenging. The Downfall. Oh, yeah. Of course, that's super fun. You have to get used to the new, the new uh, I think pieces. I saw all the power-ups. The jump shoes, the balloons, and the jetpack. Um, I didn't get to use the jump shoes, but you can jump across the uh, the pesky gaps, it says. Mm. And we got the jetpack for like a second. Then I, you jetted off into space. <laughs> um, the HMS Raptor was a very good uh, version of Sequest. Um, the Kobayashi Maru, excellent, excellent port of... Oh, my goodness, I have to remember all these names oh, of whatever that game is. Where you're flying around in different eras. The Rocketeer one was very, very good. I lasted a long time in that one. Expressway, of course, Freeway is so much fun. So, Express, so much fun. Expressway just elevates it up a bit with better graphics and better stereo sound and honking. And, yeah. and, and it has four players. Oh, yeah. Which Freeway yeah. does not have. Yeah, four players, that's yep. very cool. I guess you could do freeway with four players. Well, now you can with the Quatari, but with like paddles. But Activision didn't like flicker. Ah. So you would have had to have flicker in that one. Um, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Bad cat. Bad cat. Always. How did they manage with the chickens on one line and also the cars on the same line? How did they do that in Freeway on the 2600? I've never thought about that. Um, rocks Off, of course. Um, good puzzle game. That one's hard as hell. I'm not good at that puzzle game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? 256. You've got the top score. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Top score. Um, and if people didn't know, you can also submit some of these games high scores gotcha to the reboot website um because it gives you codes on the screen and you just go to their website and type in the code and type in your name and you could submit your scores um there's also another uh website as well so used to hearing your clicky controllers when I hear Sprite playing his pinball game. I think it's your joysticks. Yeah. Yeah, because the um, Jaguar controllers are silent. Yes, true. Usually it's like click, 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 yeah. click, bam, 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 with the button. That's so funny. That's true. I didn't even think about that today. I could seem almost like a calm, a calm day today without the super noisy joysticks. But I like the clicking. I do too. Click, 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 click. <gasps> no. Um, Where's the other website that you can submit scores to? I thought I wrote it down. So good. Maybe I did not. And uh, throughout last year to this year, um, I said that this at the beginning, the Jaguar Atari Age Forum had competitions for almost all of these games for top score. Actually, I can see what the top score was in this one that people submitted. Um, so right now you would have been in sixth place. Good job. 
Sixth place. Yep. The next score up is 6,912. But I think you get, do you get more points for combining higher tiles? Or do uh, you just always get two? Yeah, five to five. Oh yeah, you, no, your score is going up. It goes up exponentially, I guess. Oh, Whoa. the hissing. Oh, poor hissies. The anger. So much cat anger going on right now. They'll figure out their space and their territory and who who gets fed up at what points. Yep. Yeah. There's a couple of really good versions of this on this the game. 2600. We, so much fun. I think we did a day where we did multiple 2048s. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we did. We yeah. did to compare them. And both of them were I think there was two, maybe three. They were all oh you're getting you're getting squished in now. Yeah, it's not good. Oh you're getting Oh there you go. Squeaky cats. Silly squeakies. Can't tell if like Atari is like bothering him or he's just generally squeaky sometimes he sounds exactly the same yeah. when he's in distress or where he's when he just wants attention hi slightly matt what odd request do you have <laughs> uh <laughs> cyrano says it's because you're giving the 64 bit cat attention yeah 64 <laughs> bit cat yeah we're ignoring the other two cats and uh, the little black cat's like don't pay attention to the jaguar yeah Pay attention to the little black cat. Yeah. Oh, he's keeping. I'm recording a podcast this week on Atari 2600 Homebrew. Oh, nice. Very cool. What is the name of your podcast? Yes. Let everyone know. Yep. This, this is the right place. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping to get a sound bite from you. Oh, well, it's a very quiet day. The joysticks. <laughs> yeah. The joysticks. It's not 2600 today either, right? So. Uh, no. Retro Brew House. Okay. What's the sound bite? Just that? <laughs> and the website? Okay. What do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I can say. I've never listened to Retro Brew House, but if I did, I would want... <laughs> no, let me try that again. <laughs> oh, you want, like actually me saying something not just like promoting it okay uh, about uh, a homebrew well he says basically why do you think the 2600 is so popular for a uh, homebrew uh, I gotta watch this cat for a second then I'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. bad cats question, bad kids you don't need to be in there come here come oh. here get some forced loving Force cat love. And I'll answer the question. There we go. So the question from Retro Brew House is basically, why do you think the 2600 is so popular for homebrew? Um, there's a couple of reasons I think it's popular for homebrew. Is that I think the age range of people that grew up with it... Um, also grew up programming around the same time yeah because there was a lot of programming going on in the 80s and maybe into the, even to the early 90s for like you had to learn it in school yes and um also there's a lot of really good tools for programming this 2600 um a lot of um good like atari Atari Basic is a very good environment for uh, programming. It's very approachable if you know the basics of programming. Um, also, it's a very flexible and also challenging machine that uh, you can do a lot with. Um, and it's also something, uh, a machine that people grew up with and that they want to make games for the machine that they grew up with. So I think that's uh, that's some of the basics of why um, people like programming for it. It's also 
uh, a very cheap old console that you can buy. Yeah. And I think it also compounds. Yeah. Like if there's mo more, if there's a lot of homebrew, then people get interested in making more. Get interested in making yeah. more homebrew for it, and there's already a scene for it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and it's been going on since 1995. I think was the first homebrew. So it's been going on for a long time, and there's a big community around it as well. Mm. Um, so I think I think that's uh, that's most of the points. Yeah. I might have missed some. Yeah. So. Oh, now there's more questions. <laughs> I answered one, and now you want more. <laughs> you want to play? See. Uh, no. No. We can play once more. Okay. What time is it? Oh, we have to take off soon. Oh, we do. Oh yeah, my goodness. So no more. Yeah. No more. No more games. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you can answer uh, Slithy Matt. Maybe switch back and. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, what do you yeah. think is special about homebrew compared to legacy commercial games? Mm -hmm. Special about homebrew. Um, what I think is special about homebrew is that a lot of homebrew either fills in gaps in the library of a game system people really love, mm. like arcade games that were never made for it, yeah. and, and people like... It's like, oh, I wish that arcade game came to the 2600 or 7800 or whatever game system that they're uh, developing for. Yeah. Um, so they're able to make the game that they never had. Or be able to create a game that's in their head mm -hmm. that they've always wanted to somebody else to make, but now they have the opportunity to make for homebrew. And that's what really is about uh, special about homebrew. And you can also interact with the developers if you're part of the homebrew community. Mm -hmm. And you can directly ask questions. Like, case in point, we're playing games mm -hmm. by a person who is in the chat yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of the, while of we're the streaming. Yeah. And that's often the case with, with Zero Page Homebrew is that the, person, the developers are in the chat and can answer the questions. So there's a community there yeah. that you can actually even make suggestions while the game's being made and you can see your suggestion go into the game. So it's a very hands-on kind of community. And uh, I think that's what makes it really appealing. And especially the 2600 and 7800 and the whole Atari realm, um, it's very approachable and very friendly and everybody's just wants to have awesome games to play mm -hmm. and everybody contributes to it by either playing them or developing them or streaming the games yeah. so i think that's what is really special about about homebrew commercial games they were out forever and you know they've been talked to death about but the homebrew is brand new there's brand new ones coming out all the, to all the mm -hmm. time and that's what's special about homebrew like 2,600 games coming out now for a system that's 45 year old, 45 years old. That's crazy. Yeah. So there you go. There's your sound bites. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and this is James O'Brien from Zero Page Homebrew answering <laughs> questions for Retro Brew House. So good luck with your podcast. Hopefully that's clean enough. You can record that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vitoko says, I'd add that homebrews require a lot of time to be completed. No commercial deadlines. Yes. Yeah, you can take your time. Some of these games take 10 years to do make. Do exactly what you need. Um, yeah. The cat ran off into a corner here. I'll pick some good stuff out. There you go. How are you? Yeah, it's pretty clean. Tanya was laughing and talking a little bit, but that's okay. She's on I the show, too. I was getting mad at my, uh, my loss. At your loss. Oh. We've lost a kitten in the back there, so. Oh, you can't go that far. No. So true. thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. We played uh, the... Retail version of Rebooted. Awesome. By, so many cool games. By Reboot for your Atari yes. Jaguar. Lots of fun little games. You can pick it up at the Atari Age store. Uh, you get some cool postcards. Serena, we were not complaining. <laughs> he's like, you look like you're having fun. But he had the audio off. So oh, he said, we were no, having lots of fun. We are having lots of fun. It's a really good collection. It is. Of fun mini games. Yeah. Very, um, very good. Yeah, I really liked a yeah. whole bunch of them. Yeah. Nice collection. Ja uh, James, I'm still waiting to hear the TBA regarding the UAV mount PCB, but I'll let you know that. Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> lots of acronyms. A lot. Uh, I don't understand any of them. So uh, yeah, okay. it's a, uh, a video um, upgrade yeah. um, for Atari systems. But yes, and then I'll announce that on the show uh, when you get the 100% go on that <laughs> on the UAV mount. Uh, thank you, Dan. 
Um, so yeah, a whole bunch of games by Reboot. And you can get that at the Atari Age store right now if you like that, if you have a Jaguar. Uh, thanks everyone, now go buy the Atari Age store. Yes, definitely. So if you have a Jaguar and you like those mini games, there's definitely some, at least one or two mini games that you will love in there. Sorry, I'm trying to get the black cat out of our crawl oh, space. <laughs> does somebody want to ding the bell for the cat? That's okay. I can give them a couple. I just was a little scared. He had gotten way in the back of our, our storage space. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, kitty. No, no it's okay. Want, right? Are we going to ding? No, I wasn't going to have him ding. I was just going to give him a couple of well, treats. Might so. as well while I read out the, uh, okay. the names. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Cyrano, of course. Thank you for making all the amazing Jaguar games and... Uh, being part of the community. Uh, and uh, Dan AVC, Vitoko, Packrat, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Slithy, Slithy, Slithy. Slithy Matt. Like Slither, Slithy. Slithy Matt. Slithy Matt. Uh, good luck with your <laughs> podcast. Definitely link me to it when, uh, when you've got it done. Hopefully those answers are good and I didn't sound too stumbly. Slithy, Slithy. Slithy, Slithy. No, that's Sly. Slithy. Slithy. Like I was gonna. I was thinking Slytherin, but yeah. you know that's okay. Uh, Ground Trooper, uh, Charles Donnie Mao, uh, Nostalgic, uh, Cubanismo, who else? Bahamut, G uh, Bahamut Jiraiya, Jiraiya. Bahamut Jiraiya. Jiraiya. Yep. Okay, one more for you. There Metalunar you Seven, Ugh. RC Seven E, Miss Command, Good kitties. Carl Good kitties. G, Forty Eight K Ram. Thank you for the raid in the in, uh, beginning. <laughs> uh, Pink Floyd Guy Two, Cafe Man Two D. Nice. nice. Uh, nostalgic. Mm -hmm. If I haven't said that already, probably doubled up on a bunch of the. It'll be up in an RSS on and YouTube Monday. Definitely link me to it. Link, 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 link. Everybody go uh, listen to it, because I'm sure everybody here will be very interested in homebrew games, because this is the sh whole show is about homebrew games. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically Atari games. But, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's it. We'll be back on Friday, but next Tuesday we'll be off. Just that, just that Tuesday. We will be off on Tuesday. And I think we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games. I've got one on the roster. If I find a couple more, then we're doing 8-bit. If not, we'll do something else. Okay. Um, and we got to go. So thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you. Have a good week. And we'll see yes. you on Friday. On Friday. Bye-bye. Have a good night, everyone. Where's my button? Bye-bye. <laughs>